Have you got anything to say about her, her circumstances? If you had told me this 10 years ago, I wouldn't have believed you. And I said that to Zainab. I wouldn't have believed this story 10 years ago. I would have thought she was mentally ill. But over the last 10 years, I've seen the incompetence throughout the country. I've seen the incompetence in all our organisations that we pay for. Nothing works anymore in the UK. Nothing works. And I was involved with GMP. I used to work for Manchester Council and I was based in police stations. I was one of the first person to buy GMP cameras, body-worn cameras. And it was um, a test at the time. And we've got those cameras. And these police stations have cameras for one reason. It's not to protect you or me. It's to protect the officers from false allegations. How they can allow footage to go missing and be corrupted is astounding. Yeah. That footage is there to protect them. And there's only one answer if footage goes missing. There's only one, well, there's two answers. One's incompetence, which it may be. But in which case, I want people fired because we can't have those incompetent officers working. But the main reason, it looks like someone's trying to hide something. So either way, people need to lose their jobs. And we don't sack anyone in the public sector anymore now. You can do whatever you want and be as incompetent or corrupt as you want. No one is sacked, no one's held accountable, no one's boss is pulled over the coals. It's everyone just stays quiet and just a big cover-up. We've seen it with the blood scandal, we've seen it with the post office master scandal, we've seen it with the grooming gang scandal. When are we going to start sacking people we employ? through the civil service and the councils and the government. When are we going to demand people get sacked? Because it's not good enough. They work for us, but yet they're incompetent, they're corrupt. Some of them are violent criminals. We need to do better. We need to hold our politicians to account better. We need to vote out the ones that don't do anything. And we need to get a better class of politicians. Who they are, I don't know. I'd like to think I would be one of them, but I don't know. But it can't go on the way it's going on. And we need the people here today are the first step on this. Because if we don't care and we don't try to do something better, then nothing will ever improve. So it may it may seem an impossible task, but it only seems that way. The people will eventually get what they want because we always have done. Well, thank you very much, Nick. I'm very impressed by your enthusiasm and your determination to uh, get this sort of thing sorted. We need to. Uh, and best of luck in your next uh, attempt at... Uh... If it's not Zayna, then it's me and you. It's our grandchildren have been abused. It's you the you best for, for some trumped up charges. It's my mummy goes to the NHS with failing doctors. It's affecting all of us, all our communities, all our families. And that's why we need to sort this out. It can't go on. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.